Hello and welcome to this Let's Count lesson all about the census. Have you heard of the census? Do you know what it is? Well, we're going to find out all about it. My name is Alison and we're going to think about asking and answering questions. How important these questions really are and how important it is to listen to the answers because the answers can help us to be happier and healthier. So let's think about this thing called the census. Have you heard of the census? You might have talked about it in class. I wonder if you know what it is. The census is a count of all the people in England and Wales. The adults in your house are asked lots of questions. It doesn't happen every day. It doesn't happen very often. But when it does happen, it's very important that they answer the questions about who lives in their house and what they do. So the census is a count of all the people who live in England and Wales, and it asks people about how many live in their house and what those people do. It's been happening for a very long time as well. It's been going on for over 200 years. It doesn't happen every year. We wait 10 years in between because it takes a lot of time to organise, to think about all the questions and then to look at all the answers that people have given and make sure that we take note of what they said in their answers. So the census asks people about where they live. It asks people about what jobs they do. It asks them about which languages they speak and even asks them things like how many cars they own or do they own a car at all? So it asks lots of questions about the people who live in that house. Why does the census ask all these questions? Well, it asks questions because the government and the people who look after you where you live need to know the answers. They need to know how many people there are living in their area, who they are, and what they need to make them happy and healthy. Now I expect you ask lots of questions every day. I know I do. And sometimes we get the answer we want to hear and sometimes we don't. And maybe the census can help with those answers. So what about if you ask, can we go to the park? I'd really like to go to the park and play on the swings. But sadly, the answer is no. There isn't a park near our house. Because of the census, people might learn that there are lots more children living where you live now who need a new park and then they can decide to build one. Perhaps you've asked the question, can we go swimming? Because you like swimming, I know I do. And yes, we can go swimming. There is a swimming pool here. Perhaps we realised how many children were counted in the last census and they decided that this area needed a new swimming pool. So now when you ask the question about going swimming, the answer is yes, there is a swimming pool for us to visit. So the census can help us. The answers to the questions in the census are important to make sure that we have the right things in our towns and villages to make sure that we are safe, happy and healthy. It makes sure that there are enough schools for you to go to, enough doctors and hospitals to look after you if you're not very well. I hope you can see how important it is that the questions in the census are answered by everybody. I thought I would ask some questions and collect some information myself. So I asked some children about their favourite snack because at break time, I'm sure you get to eat some fruit to keep you going until lunchtime. But we have to know what to get and what people like. So I asked them to what their favourite fruit snack is. I gave them some stickers of fruit and asked them to come and stick their sticker up to tell me what fruit they like best. So here's what they did. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they're sticking the stickers all over the place. Oh no, well that seemed like a good idea, didn't it? But I'm not sure what I found out here. What can I do, do you think? What can I do to help me? Hmm, let's have a think about this. 
Right, I'm going to try again, and this time I'm going to be a bit more organised. I'm going to try and collect all the apples in one place, all the carrots, all the bananas, so that maybe I can answer my questions and understand the information that I've been collecting. So let's have a look. Oh, that's looking better. I might be able to count these more easily now and find out what the favourite snack is. What is everybody's favourite fruit? And will I need to change my shopping list to make sure that people get what they like to eat? Now, the last boxes on my chart are there for you to write in the total numbers. How many people like apples best? How many people like carrots? So it might be time to pause this for a moment and do some counting. Right, so what did you find out? I think when I looked, I think there are more pictures of grapes on there than the other fruit. So I wonder if we can check. Shall we count the grapes together? Can you help me? One, two, three, four, five. So for five people, their favourite fruit for snack time was grapes. Gosh, I think I might have to change my shopping list a little bit. I wonder what else we can see in this information. Sometimes it's interesting to compare the numbers. So if we look at the apples and the carrots, can we say how many more people like apples than carrots? What about how many more people like grapes than bananas? I wonder what else you can find out. Have a talk to somebody who's with you at the moment and see what you can find out from this information. And can you give me some advice on what I might need to do to make sure my shopping list is right so that everybody gets the fruit that they like at snack time? Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about the census and how important it is that we ask and answer the right questions to help make sure that we have all the things around us to make us happy and healthy. There's a blank chart here, so you might like to ask some other questions. Maybe ask the people in your house or ask your friends some questions. What's their favourite colour? What's their favourite pet? Whatever you decide to ask, I hope you enjoy asking and answering questions. And I hope you will have a look at the census questionnaire on Census Day so you can see what the questions the adults in your house are asked.